So this is how to regrip a wedge, your wedge, somebody's wedge. And um, because I don't have the rubber piece, I am being creative and I have taped some socks. So first thing you need to do is get the old grip off. Oh, and this is all the stuff you need, not that, not that. You need a box cutter or the, uh, the razor blade with a little curl on it. Doesn't really matter. They make um, full piece tapes. I'm just doing this because uh, that's what the guy told me to do, but this is probably the worst idea. I would use the full piece of tape that's like the length you're supposed to have it. You need a grip. You need some solvent. I don't know what's in the solvent because it's all washed off. So, what you do is you put your club in there and you tighten it up. You can tighten it any way you want to. Like that. So, that's not really going anywhere. I know I should put this, but I can move it around, so that's why. Alright, you get your box cutter. And I know how the, um, the guy who did my grips before, I know how he did it. He used the full strip of tape. So I'll show you what that looks like. It's underneath here. You can see it's all one piece, the tape. I just pulled some of it off right here. But for what he did, like that. So basically this is all a single piece. It's very easy to clean off instead of this. It doesn't really matter as long as you I can show you what the inside, sorry Miss P, gotta move. The cat's down there. All right, so that's what it looks like on the inside. It's kind of rusted out. You can see all the junk in it. I'm glad I'm doing this now, getting rid of all that stuff. So I'm gonna clean this out and then do down here. That's what it looks like on the inside. There's black stuff. You probably can't see it because it's so small, but that's why you cover the top so all that stuff doesn't go down in the club. And next, I'm gonna clean it with the solvent because that's what worked last time. But you can clean it with anything you want to. You just want it to be a clean surface. It's a little dirt. And now I'm gonna let that dry off for a second before I put the tape on it. All right, so once you have that done, time to add the tape. Over the back, you need to make sure you put a little piece. So one piece right here, just so the stuff won't go down in it. You wanna measure on the grip about, so that's the spot right here I'm gonna use that as the marker so right there is where I want to stop the tape because that's where this part of the grip the line that's where you go to line to line then you just sort of angular it and wrap it around Right about here. So I'm gonna get scissors, snippy snip it. And just make sure I got all the little bubbles down because I'm not perfect. Okay. Add some solvent in the grip. Hold the bottom because there's a little hole. And you don't have to add a lot. And just kind of shake it around. You can feel it in your thumb. You want to coat the whole thing. Put it on. I'm going to see the part. I would recommend wearing a hair tie when doing this. Look 
can't see Jack. Ooh. Now you want to line it up with how you want it. So, taping my hairs. Okay, now you can add your hat back. Just make sure it's flat level. And I'm gonna let that sit, so that's pretty good. So I don't know when this will be ready, but it'll be ready soon. Okay, and we're back. Now, I just redid the script yesterday, but I'm not too, um, it's not the right grip for me on my chipping. I like a firm grip, and this is very, very squishy and soft. I could probably get used to it, but I decided it was not the right grip for me. So I am taking it off. Glad it was a free grip. I tried it, but hey, Tiger. <coughs> And it's pretty responsive on the sticky, sticky. Oops, sorry. Tighten it up. Get the tape off of it. Now the problem's gonna be this is new tape, so it's, I just did it yesterday and it's very sticky. It's gonna get all over me. They're not ones I use, like full-time use. They're like backups. Don't eat it, tiger. It's just stickies. Okay, so we're back. I have sort of wiped it down a little bit. I dried it off. And I've got my trusty assistant over there. So I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did uh, yesterday. Oops, sorry, Tiger. Rusty scissors. These are our flower scissors we use them for the flowers. Snippy, snip it. Get a little piece and you put it on the end but you can't see it sorry I'll try and move it there we go can you see it now yeah kind of not really okay Just sort of get it on the ends and it, I would recommend like I said using the full piece of tape instead of the little um, this this is only good for the end of the club kind of stick it all over yeah. sticky sticky okay now you do it to the candy cane also remember about the grip the butt of the club to right here you mark it off so that one goes to right about there mark it with that and do your candy cane and for a check, you can always hold it up. You got a little bit more to go, but you have your little tape ball there just for the fun of it. Use scissors, whatever. I like my box cutter myself. Box cutter. Do -do -do -do. So, give me one second. I made a fatal error on this grip and it's just stuck. Stupid me, I know. <sighs> Bug. I had to cut it. I had to cut it. But the only good thing is, this is where my hand goes. So on another club, I could probably, possibly, uh, stick this on one. I doubt I will use it in competition because I. I just yanked it off. I was mad because I, stupid me, I didn't do it right. I know what I was doing. I just didn't do it right. So anyways, got the grip on. Super easy, super messy. But this grip should be a lot better than the other one. 